Do rich countries attempt to undermine the economic development of poorer countries? Korean economist Ha Jun Chang thought so. In his 2003 book, Kicking Away the Ladder, Chang argued that the developed world puts pressure on poorer nations to adopt certain economic policies. These, they say, are essential to economic development. But Chang asks, how did the rich countries really become rich? When he looked back through history, Chang found that past economic evolution did not resemble the process pushed on poorer nations today. To understand Chang's theory, let's imagine a group of competing car companies. All the companies produce good products, and there is little to distinguish one from the other. One car company called Driving Seat decides to employ an innovative engineer who pioneers ways to make more efficient engines. After a lot of development work, he creates an engine that has double the fuel efficiency of its rivals. The company's sales grow at a rapid rate, and they become much bigger and more profitable than their competitors. The smaller companies begin to lose business as driving seat monopolizes more of the car market. They struggle to keep up. As driving seat becomes a lot richer than their rivals, they are able to lend money to the other companies. But in return for these loans, driving seat stipulates that the other companies cannot use this money to develop or design engines. The smaller companies are restricted from developing in the same way driving seat did and their products stay inferior. At the same time, they become more dependent on driving seat for loans and subsidies. Ha Jun Chang thinks the relationship between rich and poor countries is the same. In the same way that driving seat stops the poorer companies from growing, developed countries are trying to kick away the ladder they had climbed so poorer countries can't follow. Kicking Away the Ladder won the 2003 Gunnar Mirdal Prize and is Hajun Chang's most widely discussed policy book.